Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. As we get close to the NBA season starting, you know, um, I got to be honest with you. It's going to be interesting to see who prevails in this shortened season slash shortened playoff system. You know, because like I said, anybody could get hot and they kind of make you wonder what teams are going to be in shape, who going to do this, who going to do what. And I was watching, you know, first things first. And Nick Wright had his list of the 10 players with the most to gain winning a championship. Now, who he had at number one is very interesting. His, his, you know, his, I'll say his, you know, number one and number two. He had at number two who has the most to gain from winning the championship would be Giannis and then number one, James Harden. I don't have no problem with Nick Wrong saying James Harden has the most to gain if he could pull it off. At the end of the day, if it's some surprise team, people going to complain regardless who wins. People going to say, well, if they had had a full season, this would happen. That would happen. So somebody going to be disappointed no matter what. It's going to be excuses no matter who wins the NBA Finals. You're going to have people saying, well, well, if they would have played the full 82 games and all this, kind, of, then, you know, because right about now the Finals would be starting. So it would be interesting who you think would be in the finals. But most people expect it to be when the smoke is all set and clear, people think that it'll either be, I'll say four, maybe even five. The teams that is expected to be there when it's all said and done, maybe the final four on the East Coast, it might be either the Bucks or possibly the Celtics question mark around the uh, 76ers. And then on the other side, of course, the two LA teams. And then maybe the long shot might be the Houston Rockets. But at the end of the day, people don't believe in the Houston Rockets, but he had James Harden as number one. And I got to say this James Harden to me, I really do think this is his best chance to try to take advantage, get hot, and hopefully Houston can, you know, pull some upsets. I think that's, I, I think this is his chance. And I know people say, oh, well, he won it in a short season in a Corona seat. Well, hey, he'll still officially be on record for winning an NBA championship, whether you like it or not. I do think James Harden need to take advantage of this. And that's real talk. James Harden needs to try to take advantage of this shortened season. I think if he finds a way to win a championship, now I don't know about him being a top 20 best player of all time, like Nick Rong said, I don't know about that. Or being the third best two guard in the history, but I don't know about that. But... It ends all the talk about him being a choke artist. This shortened season, shortened playoff is about not who's the best team, which team takes advantage, or which team gets hot. Because the best team may not win the championship. Okay? So I'm just keeping it 100. James Harden, this might be his best chance to try to win the championship. If he get it in the shortened season or not, hey, it will ever say in the history books that Jane Harden won a championship. So he need to get it done. This your boy Town Biz, I'm out.